Hey YouTube, this is Fix It With Biscuit here. I wanted to shoot a video here on uh, my filament holder for my 3D printer I made. It's just PVC pipe here. Uh, I got uh, 11, I think it was 11 feet, and then made it so the filament goes over top instead of behind. So yeah, it's up above like this, so it just comes straight down into the extruders so it doesn't have to pull so hard. Because I noticed when I was printing that uh, that was a really big problem. Uh, the Right here, the extruders, they have a, a motor in it that pulls the filament in, but when the filament was back behind, it would jerk and it would slow the uh, extruders down to where it would knock it off its axis. So I decided, well, why don't I just put it above the 3D printer? And I also uh, had been printing some tank tracks for my son's uh, RC car. And uh, these are the tank tracks that I printed. They're pretty cool but I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board because the little ends here I don't know if I can get this phone to focus come on now yeah those little ends there they're too brittle and too small I I didn't uh, design these tank tracks. I pulled them off of uh, Thingiverse.com. There was a gentleman on there. He designed them, but I think he designed them for like my RC car, the big uh, five five T. And uh, I scaled them way down because they were, you know, twice twice the size if not three times the size bigger which I think for my RC car would be fine but since I scaled it down uh, the ends are pretty brittle because I made them to where they'd fit right over but I don't know I'm gonna finish them and give them a shot as long as we go slow with them they should work but yeah I just wanted to show you a little update video uh, I'm going to be doing some more 3D print uh, projects and I'll have uh, videos of the start, the middle, the finish and some stuff in between. I'm not going to shoot everything but I'll try to get as much as I can. Um, stay tuned. This is Fix It With Biscuit and everybody have a good day.